The pastures of the Mongolian steppe provide the fodder for a nomadic livelihood that remains a major force in the national economy. Yet there are also sizable forests, occupying 12% of Mongolia's territory. Less visible, but no less vital to the survival of Mongolia's people and wildlife. Oyentugs is on one of her regular missions to monitor and protect these forests. She is a forest user group ranger on the lookout for illegal cutting of trees or forest fires. Her role is part of a pilot project that is fundamentally changing how Mongolians interact with their forests. <laughs> As Mongolia's economy has expanded, its forests have been shrinking. Greater demand for timber, human-sparked fires, mining, and overstocking of cattle have taken a toll on the nation's tree cover. But things are now improving through the efforts of people like Bachagal. He is the chairman of his local forest user group, a body of ordinary citizens who oversee the community's woodland resources. They are one of 15 pilot groups that have been established in five provinces across Mongolia. The first phase of a novel program supported by the FAO with funding from the government of the Netherlands. The participatory forest management program enables peoples whose lives are directly connected to forests to use and manage them. User group members receive training on forest assessment, mapping, management planning, fire prevention, and marketing of forest products. They then develop their own plan to put into action. Protection efforts are showing signs of success in project areas, illegal logging has essentially ceased. And herders feel they are no longer dependent on outside forces to protect their environment and their livelihoods. The pilot phase is now ending, and the next step will be to scale up the project nationwide, giving more Mongolians a stake in the future of their forests.